Hey, welcome to the Creator 8. I bet you're really excited to learn how to make something just like this. Now, this video, I'm going to try and get this whole thing set up in less than four minutes. So let's try it. It's going to be a video background with this nice text over it, just like this. Now, this is a normal WordPress site. So if you see, I can scroll down and see the pages underneath it. Okay. Um, I've also done another site similar. It's a tribe of building site that we're making. So I've imported a video of a campfire. Pretty cool. Again, if I scroll down, normal WordPress site. Okay. So let's try to do this with the Creator 8. So I have installed a brand new fresh website and this is the standard um, WordPress 2017 theme. And when I scroll down again, there you go. So we're gonna take this image and change it to a cool video overlay. So let's jump into the software. And now this is an early, early version of beta, uh, it's a beta version of uh, version eight. So it's probably gonna look a little different when I finally get it out there to, to show people. So for now, let's go pick one of the template sets that I've installed. So I'm going to choose the social media templates pack and any one of these will work. But for my demo, I'm going to pick this one. Okay, it loads up. Now all this is kind of extra um, reference material. We can delete that and this we can delete. Okay, and we are going to change the text. Now you can leave the text as it is or we can double click it. And let's make it a little bit bigger. And we're going to change this text to read. Um, okay. And oops, let's click that and we'll make this bigger. leave this text for my trial purposes and we can add a logo or any anything really uh, but for now I'm gonna get to the exciting part and bring in an, a, a video so under elements I'm going to go down to video animation we have a couple of them built in so uh, let's drag this one over and I can fit fit it to the canvas if I want to Right, that's cool enough for now and I'm going to send it to the back and because it's in the back of this graphic is, is on top of it so I will simply select it and hit delete there's my amazing background we can uh, import our own logo if we want to Boom, there's my logo I can put it right here if I want to <clears throat> make it bigger, make it smaller. Uh, there's a shadow on it that I'm not super thrilled with, so I'm going to bring the opacity of that shadow down a little bit. Uh, the bubbles I'm not super happy with, so um, instead of this image, I'm going to import my own graphic. Import video. I mean, not graphic. The one I like. Yep, that's it. comes in nicely I can take this one and I'm going to delete it and I'm going to scroll this one so it's big around that area send this one to the back there we go and the red doesn't work for me on this little graphic overlay so I'm going to colorize it more to a beachy blue I guess awesome and now we can make this bigger and just a little bit more of an angle down below there you go i have my video i have my logo i have cool text over it and now i'm going to go to the canvas and i'm going to record the canvas let's start recording right now we'll count one two three give it a good loop four five stop recording the video downloads now this is a web M, a web, um, a web movie. Okay, so WordPress, a lot of WordPress sites can accept web M's, but this particular theme, let me show you. If I go to customize, and I go down to header media, 
it says select a video, but it has to be in the MP4 format. This is not MP4, so for this tutorial, and probably for a little while, we have to go to a site called Convertio. <laughs> Everything's Convertio. -like. Anyway, uh, okay, so I'm going to upload it from my computer, the WebM, and convert it. Once it's converted, it downloads and it typically downloads to the same place that it, you uploaded it to, so which is my downloads folder. But now it's a video mp4 file. Great, now I can select the video. Let's upload it. Find it, here it is. Open it. It uploads into the site because it's now an mp4. I choose it and boom, here is my beautiful page header. I can save and publish it. And when I close everything up, we have a really cool homepage. Ta-da! Thanks for watching. It's an awesome app.